everyone, welcome to your Friday Five where we talk about energy efficiency for five minutes. Today's topic is advanced power strips. My name is Jacqueline and I am with Focus on Energy and I have instituted a flannel Friday in my home office today and I'll be walking you through some tips and tricks for using an advanced power strip and how they can help you save money. If you think of any questions, please post them in the comment section as we'll be answering a few of them later on. Now that all of us are spending lots of time at home, it can be easy to forget to turn off your electronics when you aren't using them. Even if they are turned off or in standby mode simply because they are plugged into an outlet. This is called phantom or vampire loads and they cost you money without you even knowing it. In comes the advanced power strip. These are tools you can use to help you save on energy costs and make your life a little easier when it comes to managing your energy consumption because they prevent electronics from drawing energy when they aren't being used. Now there are a few more benefits to the advanced power strip besides reducing energy and saving you money. They also prolong the life of your electronics uh, by safeguarding your devices from electrical spikes, also known as surges, and they are made for fireproof protection. So if you're like me and you're worried about plugging in too many things and causing a fire, don't worry. These are designed to contain the heating within themselves and not burst into flames. So there's a safety feature to these as well. Now one of the ways I have been impacted by Wisconsin Safer at Home order as I have had to change my normal go to the office routine to a work from home routine. As you can see, I've had to be a little bit creative here. I am posted up at the kitchen table and I'm sure uh, maybe some of you are in the same situation as I am or know somebody who is. Now my home office is going to cost me money over the next couple months that I didn't anticipate saving or spending. As you can see, I have my uh, laptop over here. It's actually tucked in. I have a 22 inch monitor. I also have my printer and scanner. I don't use that a ton, but I do have it just in case. And I have some other things that I'm using. Now this might be more of a simple setup. You might have multiple monitors. You might have speakers. Anyways, this is where uh, the advanced power strip can come in to help. Now I have Two advanced power strips I want to show you that they look different, but they are both advanced power strips. Um, now, if you don't have one right now, you can actually get one a few different ways. You can go to the Focus on Energy website and order one of our free energy saving packs. We have six packs for you to choose from, and one of them contains the advanced power strip. Just note that there's a limit of one pack per customer every three years. Another way you can get one if you don't already have one is to go to the Focus on Energy online marketplace and order one there. You'll find a variety for you to choose from and so you can pick the one that best fits your needs. We'll put links to both of those in the comment section after the stream. Anyways, I'm finally going to show you how to use the advanced power strip using my home office as an example. Now, these are also good for TV setups. Uh, maybe you have kids right now that, like to, that are playing video games or computer games even. Maybe you like to play virtual games and that is a great application as well. So most advanced power strips are going to have a control or a master switch, they'll call it. They will have switched outlets uh, or on and off with master and they'll also have always on outlets. So the master is where I'm going to want to plug in the main device that I am using. Typically, this is the TV or the computer. In my case, it's going to be my laptop. Then you'll see the switched outlets. This is where I am going to put in the things that I use with my laptop. This is going to be my monitor. Put that in there. And my printer scanner. When my laptop turns on, those devices will be powered on. When my laptop turns off, those devices will automatically be turned off. Now, I'm going to want to put 
um, my always on switches, which in my case is going to be an office lamp. If you want to be um, extra comfortable with your lamp, maybe you have an LED bulb in here, which I do. So I'm going to plug that into the always on. And I'm also going to put in uh, my cell phone charger. Uh, for a TV setup, this might be your DVR or your cable box that goes in here. All right, well, would you look at that? I'm all done. Now I just have to plug it in and I am ready to go. So now that I am all set up with my advanced power strip, I can focus on the work that I have to do, focus on staying at home, and not worry about what my next monthly energy bill is going to look like. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to join us next Friday at 10 a.m. for the next Friday 5. We'll be talking about water and energy savings from high efficiency shower heads and faucet aerators. Especially important right now with all of us being more vigilant about washing our hands. I'll now respond to a few of your questions. All right. While this loads, uh, one of the questions I have seen come through before is how much can an advanced power strip actually save you? Now, there are a few studies out there that use different methodologies for calculating how much uh, energy can be saved from an advanced power strip. Uh, I like to go to energystar.gov uh, and they've got information based on the average household. Uh, they're estimating about $200 annually could be saved using an advanced power strip. Uh, NREL's got a great infographic uh, that indicates that. It's gonna depend again on how you are using your advanced power strip and what you have plugged in before and what you're plugging in at that time. Another way to look at it is it could save uh, about 10% on your next monthly energy bill. Oops, let's see what other questions we have. not too many questions. I'll answer one more for you on um, what makes an advanced power strip advanced or smart. My boyfriend actually asked me this question. So advanced power strips are designed to cut off power to anything that is plugged in the not always on outlet because it can detect the devices in standby mode. A power strip, a regular power strip on the other hand, will continue to pull electricity from any device that is plugged in even if it is off. All right, folks, thanks so much for joining us today. We'll answer the rest of your questions in the comments section. Stay tuned for the links we mentioned earlier and have a great day.